All that we are is the result of what we have thought. The mind is everything. What we think, we become. Like the air, God's grace is available to us. It is permeating every fiber of being and the being of the entire universe. When we take our attention to that being, finer than the finest, then we establish ourselves on the level of God's grace. Immediately we just enjoy. Life is bliss. Experience shows that being is the essential, basic nature of the mind, but, since it commonly remains in tune with the senses projecting outwards toward the manifested realms of creation, the mind misses or fails to appreciate its own essential nature, just as the eyes are unable to see themselves. Consciousness is the basis of all life and the field of all possibilities. Its nature is to expand and unfold its full potential. The impulse to evolve is thus inherent in the very nature of life. The kingdom of heaven is like electricity. You don't see it. It is within you. If we think of defeat, that's what we will get. If we are undecided then nothing will happen for us. We must just pick something great to do, and then do it. Never think of failure at all, for as we think now, that's what we will get. Expansion of happiness is the purpose of creation. Ayurveda will be known as the most supremely evolved system of perfect health, from both points of view. Prevention and cure. Dwells in the silent chamber of the heart of everyone and everything. Mind is a wave of the ocean of being. Shankara's statements about the nature of the goal were mistaken for the path to realization. The Bhagavad Gita gives a very clear exposition of the path of enlightenment, transcendental meditation, and claims that there is no obstacle to it, there is no hurdle on the way. A slight practice relieves man of great fears. In order to see him it is necessary to meet him in seclusion, far from the main activity of the business scene. It is the omnipresence of being that is responsible for hiding being behind the scenes and giving it the status of the omniscient, omnipotent supreme lord of the universe. It lies out of the realm of time, space, and causation, and out of the boundaries of the ever-changing phenomenal field of creation. It is, it was, it will be, in the status of its absolute purity. It always has the status which knows no change, the status of eternal life. The effect was mistaken for the cause. Right action came to be regarded as a means to gain nerva, whereas right action is in fact the result of this state of consciousness in freedom.